Hey everybody, Ricky Timms here. No doubt you've taken a perhaps six hour quote class and ended up at the end of the day with a UFO. Now it's always fun if you get to take something home that's finished, but that doesn't happen very often. One of the things about Quilt Luminarium is that I've taken out the sit and sew part of it and all I do is teach, teach, teach. So over the course of these days, you will be able to learn so much more and then you can sew in the privacy of your home with the fabrics, not worrying if you're running out of time, not worrying if the irons are blowing circuits, not schlepping your sewing machines to class. It's really a great way to learn. There's nothing like it in the quilt world. And what do you get with Quilt Luminarium? Well, today I wanna to show you the syllabus and everything that is covered in virtual Quilt Luminarium. Take a look at this. We start with improvisational patchwork, which is also quilting caveman style. There's no measuring, no quarter inch seams. It's freedom on steroids. Convergence quilts are magical, mysterious, easy, and fun, and there's four different versions that are covered. Convergence quilts was my first book, and it's still in print, still popular today, super easy and super fun. It appeals to both the traditional quilter and the contemporary quilter. The elusive muse, well, we all have our creative demons, whether there are voices from the past that cause us not to believe in our abilities or that we put more expectations on ourselves than possible. The creative muse helps us learn who we are and how to move forward as a creative artist. You're going to find this section to be very motivational and inspirational. The music in my quilt, this particular chapter goes all through the design elements of art and the principles of organization. Quilters don't typically come from an artistic background, so by going through this particular collegiate type course, you're going to learn how to be a better designer and how to better think about how you create your quilts, choose your colors, and go about creating your designs. Another fun part about music in my quilt is that I compare music and art and show you the parallels between the two. Immediately following that is designing patchwork, and I'm gonna teach you how to design your own quilts using what you know. The principles can be used for traditional designs, contemporary designs, artful designs, and even modern designs. I'm going to teach you my no pins precision patchwork technique. Yes, I said no pins and it's curved piecing that is precise, easy, and without using any quarter inch seams. My Gaelic blessing quilt is designed from tradition, but I've taken the traditional Irish chain design and created a wonderful quilt that only resembles an Irish chain. The goal is to teach you to use traditional designs and shake them up to be something totally new like nobody's ever seen before. Some people have an aversion to paper piecing or foundation piecing, but I'm going to demystify this and make it easy, fun, and make it a really good addition to your quilting toolbox. Stars and Stripes Forever is not only a fun quilt, but I'm gonna show you the secret on how I designed it so the tips of the points poke into the adjoining blocks. Sunset Strip uses my blended convergence, one multicolored fabric, and five little paper pieced houses. It's super fun, super easy, and it will give you great ideas on what you might choose to do with your multicolored fabrics. It seems over the years, my number one most requested topic was fabric dyeing. I'm gonna give you all of the basics for learning how to dye your own fabric. And if you're going to be dyeing fabric, you need to know color theory. I give you color concepts for quilters that makes it easy and you're gonna get some surprises in this one because we're gonna learn about things like RGB and CMYK. You'll also be able to take these concepts and learn to do color combinations with your fabrics. Rhapsody quilts are medallion style quilts that utilize graceful curved design and reversed mirrored arrangement. These quilts are legacy quilts and I'm going to teach you how to design your very own and give you all the techniques. They're far easier than you might think. My outline applique technique uses double blanket stitches and it's very user friendly and very forgiving so that your quality of workmanship looks outstanding and beautiful every time. Quilt Luminarium contains many projects. One of them is Snow Crystal, a six pointed feathered star. It is a real skill builder teaching you things like foundation paper piecing, setting and Y seams, 
doing Trapunto, and much, much more. One of the most popular sessions in Quilt Luminarium is 11 Cool Things Every Quilter Should Know. Trust me, these 11 tips are going to rock your world and you're going to be going, wow, why didn't I know that 20 years ago? Another project is Northern Lights. This particular quilt is based on tradition, a lot of nine patches and half square triangles, but it uses multicolored fabric to create beautiful movement. It's a quilt based on an antique quilt. It's a popular favorite with everyone at Quilt Luminarium. Next up is Cool Kaleidoscope. It is easier than it looks. This fun strip pieced quilt is really an advanced beginner quilt and it looks much harder. But I will reveal all of the secrets and let you know why this quilt is easy to make. It's a great weekend project. And of course, free motion machine quilting. Yes, a lot of people do long arm, a lot of people quilt by hand, but I'm going to share with you how I do free motion quilting techniques that include things like quilting, trapunto, marking the quilt, how to manage the quilt, and much, much more. Many of the techniques that I share in Grand Finale apply to all quilting of all styles. One of my favorite finishing techniques is facing. This section called Let's Face It shows you exactly how to do a quilt with the appearance of no binding. Primitive patchwork is one of my favorite classes to teach in Quilt Luminarium because it is super great for the young quilter. If you've got a youngster in your life that is wanting to do a quilt project with you, primitive patchwork would be a great way to get them started and following in your footsteps. Then comes the mystery of set-in corners and circles. And actually, these set-in corners are curved and those circles are completely sewn in no applique. These and many, many other secrets are all revealed during Quilt Luminarium. And as we take it to the finish line, sit back and relax. I'm going to revisit the Elusive Muse, where I do my best to inspire you, give you confidence, give you the ability to believe that you can do anything, and I want you to leave Quilt Luminarium feeling like you are on the top of the world. Quilt Luminarium is for all quilters, all levels of experience, all styles, and all abilities. I promise you're going to love it and find it so worthwhile that if you don't, I will offer a 100% money-back guarantee, no questions asked. I cannot wait to see you join me with Virtual Quilt Luminarium. Mm -hmm.